This is a cold start of my 1965 Shelby Cobra, built in 2002 by Unique Motor Cars. It has a 302 crate motor that was built out in 2017, and it's driven by a Tremac five-speed transmission with highway overdrive, so it's very smooth. Well, here it goes, I'll give it a little crank. So this Cobra is titled as a 1965 Cobra and it was actually built in 2002 by Unique Motor Cars in Alabama. They are known for having very high quality construction. This Cobra has a 302 in it. It's actually a crate engine that's been balanced and blueprinted by Milt's Performance Engines in Chicago. It features GT40P heads forged pistons, roller lifters, roller rockers, and it's a 9 to 5 to 1 compression engine. It has a downing Lunetti camshaft in it. You could hear that nice chop of idle. It has an Edelbrock dual quad intake with dual 500 CFM four barrel carburetors. And that all sounds so good coming out of those side pipes with a nice rumble. As we go under the car, you can see a lot of this beautiful work underneath here. It is a totally powder coated, nice frame. It has a Tremec HD 3550 five speed manual transmission with a 0.83 overdrive. It has a McLeod clutch and you can see this safety loop over the drive shaft that looks really good in there. And these cars actually have Jaguar suspension, four wheel Jaguar narrowed independent suspension. And the differential has a 331 rear gear in it. And you can see that 20 gallon aluminum Harris racing fuel tank. And that looks really good with the chrome cap up on the top. It's actually called a Le Mans racing fuel cap. And so looking underneath here, you can see all that stuff. You can see how clean this is. There's no rust. It looks really nice. Tubular frame, everything. Here's the balancer and uh, the front of the engine. Here's the aluminum radiator that it comes with. Some more suspension. Um, here's the alternator there. You can see the polished oil pan and just everything underneath here. So one of the mechanics had given him this little walk around video when they had it in the shop to look over the car and so I just wanted to put this in here uh, you can see this a little bit better that tubular powder coated frame looks really good it's really short when you see it that's how these cars were meant to be so they handle really well they turn really quick uh, they're just great cars that's why Shelby liked them so much you can see those uh, tubular control arms both upper and lowers at this point the car has about 10,800 miles on it and it's a very nice car. You can see how sturdy it is and well built. You can see the frame is very thick and strong and this car is definitely going to handle very well. Transmission looks really good underneath here. And the clutch feels really smooth and it just drives like a fun uh, AC Cobra style car. So lots of really neat uh, things to look at under here. It does have brand new balanced Cobra tires. They actually say Cobra on them. They are a brand. 
and it has some uh, wheels. We'll look at these. They're the GT40 wheels, 15 by 10 in the rear and 15 by 8 up front. And it actually has Willwood racing disc brakes all around. So, so here's the owner, Chris, at a car show winning an award. And that's actually where I met him was at a car show. So it was pretty cool to see him there and uh, enjoying the car. There's those wheels and uh, Cobra tires. And there's just some nice pictures of the car and uh, some nice side shots. I love those kinds of pictures with the side pipes coming out. And here's all of the gauges. You can see those displayed nicely on that panel. Here's the uh, speedometer and the odometer, just over 10,000 miles. Um, but very good looking car. The seats are very nice. The car uh, just is overall a beautiful low mileage car. And so here's some pictures of the hood scoop and some more of the suspension, a little bit better shot of the control arms and the suspension, the uh, drive shaft loop again there, and some more of the rear end area along with the suspension in the back. So I hope you really enjoyed this, the beautiful 1965 Cobra.